Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Mary from Decatur Public Library, and I'm glad you've joined me today. Our story time is about some wild and crazy animals. Our theme this summer is Tales and Tales, and I hope you come to the library to get some good books about animals to read. I also hope you come this week to get a craft. We have a fun activity. It's a little different from some of our crafts. You're not uh, cutting stuff out to glue together or anything, but school will be starting back before very much longer. And we have a backpack, just like you might take to school. You get to color the backpack. And then you're gonna flip the backpack over. And we've got tons of school supplies that you can choose from to glue on the back of your paper to show what you're going to carry to school when school starts. Here's a pencil case, glue. There are all kinds of things, a ruler, an eraser, a pencil. You just get to choose and glue them on. Boys and girls, we're going to be reading some books that are published by Simon and Schuster today. We're so glad they've given us permission to read them. We have one that's perfect since it's going to be time to go back to school soon. It's called The Tiger Tale or What Happened to Anya on Her First Day of School by Mike Bolt. A lot of you may know his books from here in the library. And we have a really funny one. This one I read in a story time a long time ago and a little girl asked me about it a long time later. She remembered it from a very long time before. This is called Warning, Do Not Open This Book by Adam Lairhout, and it's illustrated by Michael Forsey. Let's get started with the story called A Tiger Tale by Mike Bolt. Mm, I like his front cover, don't you? I like the inside cover. Looks like tiger stripes. Anya woke one day only to discover that overnight she had grown a tiger tail. Oh no. And it gets worse. Yes, a tiger tail. Not like a ponytail or pigtails. A tiger tail. She wouldn't have minded a ponytail or some pigtails to wear to school, would she? A tiger tail was a disaster. She absolutely could not be seen. How would you hide a tiger tail if one grew out of the back of your pants? That'd be really difficult, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that wasn't an option as it was Anya's first day of school. Oh no. Are girls with tiger tails even allowed to go to school? What would the other kids say? Her mom said, it goes so nicely with your hair. It brings out your fun wild side. That may be, Anya thought, but this was a problem on her back side. She's not worried about her fun wild side. Her dad said, I remember feeling the same way when I got glasses. Don't fret, you're exactly the same wonderful Anya you've always been. He obviously needed new glasses. She would have to take care of this herself. Do you ever feel like your parents just don't understand when you have a problem? She tugged, she pulled, she squished. Nothing's working, is it? She tries to pull it off, she tries to pull the baby's bed and see if it'll come off that way. She tries to put books on top of it and squish it so it'll fall off. She stopped. The tail was firmly attached. Maybe she could hide it. Anya tried on all the clothes in her closet. At the same time, it would have worked if she didn't have to tinkle. I don't think she could go to the bathroom very well like that, do you? Anya started to panic. Calm down, said her mom, you'll make yourself sick. That was a good idea. If she can just be sick, she can stay home. You are so funny, Anya. The kids are going to love your sense of humor. Now hurry or you'll miss the bus. Mom is not giving in, is she? Anya has to go to school. That was another good idea. What a special treat, said her dad. Now I get to drive you to school on your first day. She tried to miss the bus. She hid in the bushes when the bus pulled up. And now it's leaving, but dad's taking her to school. They're not giving in. 
Anya realized there was only one choice for a girl with a tiger tail. She would have to run away and join the circus. Would it be so bad? Popcorn for dinner, swinging on the trapeze, feeding peanuts to the elephants. Too late. Before she can run away, here comes a busload of kids. Anya was doomed. Oh, poor Anya. Hmm. Look at this kid. He's running along reading a book. That's not a good idea. We need to watch where we're going. <gasps> Crash! He even lost his hat. And they're both losing books and backpacks and shoes. Hi, my name is Ben. <laughs> what do you notice about Ben? He has a problem too. I'm Anya, she says. Come on, Anya. We don't want to be late on the first day. I am so glad she ran into Ben, aren't you? Because now she knows she's not the only one that's a little bit different. Maybe a tiger tail wasn't so bad. Once she got to school, she realized everybody's different. Look at their class. One kid likes music, one kid's in a wheelchair, one kid likes football, and Ben, of course, with the bunny ears, always wants to read, even in the school picture. Everybody's different. Here's a kid with koala ears. Those are cute. And I kind of think the teacher has bunny rabbit teeth. I hope you have a good beginning to your school year when you go back. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to have a poem now called Five Little Monkeys Swinging in a Tree. We have sung it before, but this is a poem we're going to do. And if you want to watch some other librarians do it, you can go to jbrary.com. We're going to have five little monkeys swinging in the tree, so you need your five fingers. And we're also going to tell that alligator he can't have us. He can't catch us. Then we're going to have Mr. Alligator come swimming up so quietly, and then he's going to snap a monkey out of the tree. Ready? Five little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator as quiet as can be and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. Here goes monkey number one. We're down to four. Four little monkeys swinging in a tree, Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of that tree. Poor monkey number two. We need to stop teasing that alligator. Three little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of that tree. Poor monkey number three. Two little alligators. Two little al two little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps a monkey right out of that tree. That was, that was number four. Here we are with just one monkey left. One little monkey swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, as quiet as can be, and snaps that poor last monkey right out of that tree. No more monkeys swinging in the tree. He had a good meal, though, didn't he? I bet that alligator has a full stomach now. All right, boys and girls, we've got another good book. Warning, do not open this book by Adam. Blair Half. And remember, we are so grateful to Simon & Schuster Publishers for letting us read these books. Warning, do not open this book. Why did you turn the page? Didn't you see the warning? Stay on the page, you are safe here. This is a good page. I like this one. See, it says stop, go back, wrong way. And that's a yield sign and a turnaround sign and a warning that there are monkeys ahead. And then it says, please. We really are not supposed to turn the page, but I think we need to see what's next, don't you? Oh no, now you've done it. Look at the monkey. Oh my, we have let the monkeys out of the book, haven't we? Here they come. Swinging and running and bringing all kinds of mess with them. One of them is even dumping paint out as he goes. 
What are they doing? Oh, they actually have different colors of paint. Oh my, they are making a mess. They're even leaving paint footprints. What a mess! Naughty monkeys. Oh, it could be worse. Do not tempt fate by turning the page. Should I turn it? Please, danger. Oh, monkeys and toucans? Hmm, I bet that would be a noisy jungle, don't you? A bunch of screeching monkeys and a bunch of toucans squawking. Can you stop now? Everything used to be so good. Wait, did you hear that noise? That didn't sound like monkeys. Oh, it's not a monkey. What is that? Is that an alligator? Oh, that is not good, is it, boys and girls? Oh, an alligator. And he's coming toward the monkeys and the toucans with his mouth open wide. If you notice, the monkeys are running away as fast as they can go. This is a catastrophe. This calls for extreme measures. Only you can make things right. You should set a trap. Hmm. That'd be tough to figure out how to trap a big, strong alligator, wouldn't it? I just saw something last night where someone was trying to show you how to make a trap to catch a snake. I don't think I want to get close enough to a snake or an alligator to trap them. This will surely work. It is a great trap. I don't know if a banana is going to catch an alligator. Let's see what they do. Oh, the monkeys have a plan. The plan. Alligators love toucans and monkeys. Toucans and monkeys love bananas. You can catch them all in this book. Hmm. I see. They're not trying to give the alligator the banana. They want the monkeys and toucans to go to the banana. And then they think the alligator will come to eat the other animals. That is pretty smart. Quiet now. Don't scare them. You need to be silent so they don't run away. This is your big chance. When I say go, you close the book. Ready? Set. Go! Awesome! We caught them all inside the book, didn't we? And on the back cover it says, Phew! That was close. You'd better put this book back. You might not catch them next time. Now we don't have to worry about squawking monkeys and shrieking toucans or even alligators with their mouths open. They're stuck in the book again. All right, we have one last poem about an alligator, and it is also from Jay Brary. It's called Alligator, Alligator, and we've done this one before too, but it's been a while. We're going to stretch out our arms like a big, long alligator. Are you ready? Alligator, alligator, long and green. Alligator, alligator, teeth so mean. Alligator, alligator, snapping at a bee. Alligator, alligator, you can't catch me. And I'm glad alligators aren't around close to catch us, aren't you? I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you come to the library soon to get books and a craft. Bye.